Declines in church membership deeply concern Puritan ministers. Church membership was dropping in the middle of the 17th century. You had to stand up before a congregation and testify about your conversion experience in order to become a member of a congregation. But few young people harbored enough religious passion to be able to share with church members a story of how they had experienced divine grace, a requirement for joining the church. The younger generation had heard so much about what the founding generation had gone through and what their commitment had been. And so they would look at their own experiences and they would think this can't possibly measure up. This can't be enough. In 1662, Massachusetts clergy drew up the Halfway Covenant, which established a halfway status, allowing those who had not experienced conversion to join the church, but refusing to extend them the full rights of members. What we call the Halfway Covenant essentially stipulated that a person who had been baptized and who was attending church could be considered a halfway member of the church, and so therefore their children could be baptized. <laughs> so it was, a, it was an answer to a crisis situation that was emerging. Some churches believe the halfway covenant wasn't enough either. There were lots of congregations that refused to accept it because they saw it as a sort of, bad, you know, giving up what they had come for. So there were, there were a variety of positions taken on the Halfway Covenant. The Halfway Covenant compromised the strict standards Puritans had once maintained. Standards for church membership continued to relax over the next several decades. 